Hey guys, it's Mahel here and today I'm going to be bringing you my room tour as a third year student at the University of Nottingham. Now, I know I haven't uploaded in nearly two months, I'm sorry about that, but now that I'm back at uni and I'm settled in, I'm going to be uploading again, don't worry. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So. I'm actually living again at the same accommodation that I was in second year so I did do a second year room tour video if you haven't seen that make sure you go and check it out by clicking the info card in this corner and the accommodation that I'm actually staying at is called Rally Park so this is going to be a tour of a standard plus room at Rally Park and if you're going to be joining university next year then it'll give you an idea of what to expect from a room at Rally Park and this accommodation actually only costs £4,900 for the year, which I think is superb for what you get. It's not the nicest or fanciest accommodation, however, for the price that you're paying, it really is great, and especially when it's in the location that it's in. But without further ado, I'm going to start with the room tour, and you can see that I'm right at the doors here, and instantly you've got this wall which makes the room much smaller. And this room isn't actually the same room that I had in second year. In fact, I'm in the same flat, but I'm in the room next door. So I'm going to quickly show you. So last year, I was in the room over there. And that room was actually bigger than my current room, which is here. And it's a real shame about this like pillar taking up quite a lot of space because it means that obviously I have less space. But nevertheless, I've made it work and I'm going to start by showing you the bed because it's the first thing that we are greeted by and over here you can see that there is a I believe it's a double it's not a, quite a double it's like a three-quarter bed so I do have a double duvet that's why it hangs off the floor but that's no problem it just means that you can get more cozy when it's really cold but in this accommodation being cold isn't really a problem because the heating runs quite often and I'll show you that in a bit but really everything's the same as last year in terms of the bedding i've got my gray uh duvet cover got gray pillows and then there's... and it goes quite well with the uh, brown wood uh, headboard and the sideboard and right here you do have a light which is really nice because let's say you're about to go to bed but you don't want to keep getting up to turn that light off and on just keep this one off and you can have this one as an ambient setting and when I do show you each part of the uh, rest of the room you'll see that it does actually look quite nice especially with the LEDs which you can see right there so with the bed there isn't much else to it however you do get under bed storage so right here I keep this drawer as like a snack drawer I say snacks right now there's only drinks so that's like orange juice cartons it's like a BTEC Capri Sun from Lidl and some Pepsi Max and then in this drawer I just keep things like uh, underwear and socks so nothing really to see here however if you look at the drawers they are quite a reasonable size and you do get two of them so there is underbed storage available which is great because if I'm honest with you there isn't much more storage available in the room especially in this one last year I did have that bit of extra space where I could put things down but this year I'm even struggling to put uh, find a location for the laundry bag I've had to stick an extra radiator because it is a bit smaller now next to the bed you'll notice that there is a rug this is from TK Maxx and it is really nice I'm gonna take the slider off and you could just obviously you won't be able to feel it or know but it just feels so comfortable and it's nice to get out of bed put your foot, uh, feet on this and just wake up it really does make the difference however because it was TK Maxx it was designer and it did cost me 30 or 40 pounds last year and so I wouldn't recommend it but it's just one of those purchases I made last year that I decided to take up with me again this year for my final year now next part is the desk and shelves but before i show the desk because obviously that's a big part and a big difference uh, this year compared to last year i'm going to show you the shelves up here so you do get a bit more storage here but as you can see i've basically filled it all up you've got miscellaneous stuff like for example i always keep that uh fake plant there 
You would have seen that in my first year room tour at St. Peter's Court. If you've been following me for a while now, that's just come with me every single year. And I just leave it there in the corner because I don't really have the time to water real plants and whatnot. And to be honest, I probably forget about it. So you have that fake plant there. Didn't just have miscellaneous mayonnaise that I need to move downstairs. Got my other tripod. So that is my Joby Gorilla Pod. Uh, things like air freshener, um, deodorant and hair mousse, toothpaste, toothbrush, uh, you got a hair product there, so I use wild clay, um, and then over here you got like bulldog, uh, moisturizer, some uh, laundry detergent, uh, tablets, thingies, and then here in this box, I do have fragrance. So uh, it just literally says cologne. I've had this since last year as well. But inside here, I've basically got a whole collection of different colognes. You've got a Hugo Boss one. You've got a uh, Mont Blanc Individuel. You've got a uh, Paco Rabanne 1 million. I have not touched this in like three years. And you can see, I've had this for so long that the condition of it is so bad. And it's still got about, I'd say a third of it left. Um, we've got Calvin Klein Obsession. And last but not least, inside this box at least, I've got Azaro Chrome Aqua. A lot of these fragrances do smell quite um, like a sea kind of manly uh, scent. So that's the kind of vibe I go with. Um, I did have more at home, but obviously because there isn't really an excuse to go out right now, especially with uh, COVID and stuff and restrictions, I didn't bring everything with me um, I do have another fragrance that's on my other desk which I'll show you in a bit and next I'm going to show you up here because this is why I just keep miscellaneous stuff that I won't really need to touch but I need to have anyway so for example if I need more forks because I know one breaks downstairs or something in the kitchen I can just get that and then obviously stuff like uh, tissues that I can use later on uh, hats so I've got a guest cap up there and underneath there are two crisis hats and then a box of miscellaneous stuff up there as well now moving on to the big part of the room tour i am going to do a full video dedicated to this setup so make sure you subscribe and turn post notifications on and click the bell to do so as this ensures that you do not miss out on a single video as soon as it goes live and when i do upload this uh, desk setup you won't miss it if you are subscribed and you have notifications on. But let's just quickly move this to the side. I can't put it up right now. This is the new addition to my room and setup. And I've got to say, it simply is superb. This is a third generation Amazon Echo Dot with clock. And I know they have released a fourth generation that's going to come out in like three weeks. But I did get this over the summer. And for £30, it really is a great uh, way to both boost your productivity but also act as a speaker well when i say act as a speaker you can use this as a standalone speaker however i have used this uh to connect to my other big speaker behind which i'll go into in a bit and so when i say for example alexa weather in nottingham right now in nottingham England, it plays out of the big speaker instead because obviously the big speaker is much better but with this one you can see that it did say the temperature and also it's telling you Sorry, a time as well okay he can shut he she can shut up now so other than that you can see i have a keyboard a monitor a mouse a mouse pad which i will turn on for you there we go it does have 14 different settings but like i said i'll go into that uh, separately in the uh, desk setup and then also a microphone as well as these big speakers now you might be wondering what do i have this for and why didn't you have this in first or second year that is because over the summer if you've been following me on instagram i did build a brand new pc at home to go with my home setup which left me with my old PC, which this right here is. Instead of throwing it away or selling it for maybe like 150 pounds, I thought, you know what, why don't I just take it up to university? Because at least I can sit at a desk, watch movies on this 24 inch BenQ monitor and 
uh, edit YouTube videos and do other stuff because this PC, whilst it's obviously fallen behind the times, it's still capable of doing basic stuff um, and some g gaming. For example, I can play FIFA 21 on this. I did actually buy FIFA 21 on PC this year. I can play CSGO and I can play other games. So underneath, obviously, this is an old PC. I wouldn't recommend it, so I'm not going to recommend the specs or anything like that. Um, I do have my brand new PC at home, like I said. But it's really doing a great job here, actually, because right now, I'll be honest with you, Nottingham is looking quite bleak. Uh, people are scared of COVID. People are scared of being like fined by the university and police if they're caught um, being with other households, more than six people, etc. So really, you're just spending a lot of time in your own flat, in your own company. And so instead of where in first and second year, I was literally just laying in my bed literally the whole day on my laptop. Instead, I can come and sit at a desk, play a game, watch a movie, watch some AFTV, I can do a lot of things that I wouldn't have been able to do before. Anyways, moving on from the desk, because like I said, I will be making a dedicated video for that. I'm going to quickly show you the view from outside. Now, it is night time, and I did have this same view last year. However, obviously you can see, let me open the window because there's a, there is a reflection. Down there, so that is Nottingham City Centre direction, that is Manor Villages, that is Nottingham 2, and then over here, this is why I said this accommodation is a great location, is in a great location, you've got a, let me get my finger, a subway right here, a Domino's right here, a walk and go right here, and then down that direction, uh, to the left, you do have a big little. So you've got a lot of things on your doorstep, whether you want to uh, have a bit of fast food or you want to go shopping, you could do that easily because the walk is literally crossing one road. And that's great. For £4,900, you'd think you'd be in the middle of nowhere, really run down accommodation. But the reality is, it's much better than what you would be thinking for that price. Anyways, moving on. We are going to show you the wardrobe. Now, this wardrobe is actually being used for storage this year. You can see it's a fair size, not too big, not too small. And I say storage because I didn't bring that many clothes up. Um, there wasn't really a need. So you can see I've got a carrier bag full of bags, uh, my suitcase. There, one of those has my trainers in it, but I haven't taken it out of the bag because there literally is no need. I'm not stepping out and if I do, I've got some um, M, uh, MX 90s in the corner, so they really doesn't need to take up like the TNs, the uh, Stan Smiths, etc., the vans. And then here I do have this is what I would call going out clothes. So this anything that's here I would wear if I were to go out, other than the vest at the back. So for example, you have my iconic Puma jacket, which is featured on the Instagram. Make sure you go and follow me, by the way, at Mahel Khan. A lot of people seem to like this jacket. TK Maxx again, it's a banging place to uh, get some good deals, to be honest. Um, and then right here, we just have like a polo t-shirt, a sweatshirt, King's Wall Dream t-shirt, and then literally the same Nike t-shirt in different colors. So this one's black, this one's white, and this one's gray. And then uh, this one is also, this one's navy, I believe. And then this is a vest that's black, but red tick instead. So, so not much to see here. That just fell, whoops. And up here, you can see, I just keep miscellaneous stuff like that. That's a welcome bag that we got given by Rally Park when we moved in. Didn't get this last year. It just says, I love RP. And you can see there is the University of Nottingham logo right here. So this accommodation is actually, whilst it's privately owned, it's classed as uh, one of the self-catered sites at uni. So it is still, not the University of Nottingham Halls, if you get what I mean. So whilst it is third party, it's not completely private. Like the university doesn't acknowledge these halls, which is good. And then they just included some information inside here. But I don't need that right now, so I just keep that in the corner. And then, like I said, there really isn't much to see with the wardrobe, but fair amount of size. You got a railing here. You could just put anything below and then you could put anything here. If you wanted to, you could probably buy some boxes to store stuff in. 
the clearance is quite good you can see so that's that for the wardrobe and then up here I'm just keeping boxes and different stuff not really much see so for example that's the box for my BenQ monitor which you'll have seen right there and then obviously I've got the Steel Series uh, keyboard box for this thing and then up here as well I do have a Calvin Klein bag this was my gym bag however right now we're not allowed to take uh, bags in unless it's like a um, drawstring bag into the gym because of COVID and they're not allowing lockers to be used because of COVID as well which is a real shame here I did install a command hook myself so this wasn't there before and you can see right here that's where I could pull it off if I wanted to so this, this is really handy to have because it doesn't leave marks or it shouldn't do as long as you remove it correctly and by putting on the wardrobe my coat is out of the way and there's enough clearance for the uh, chest drawer which I do use as just another desk last year I did have enough space where I would be able to put the chest drawer right next to the, uh, the desk having like an extended desk and so the speakers were on uh, this thing however this year I've had to improvise and put them behind the monitor anyways so moving on to the chest drawers you can see right here just random stuff this is a fan uh, that was included with the uh, accommodation so you just plug it into your phone and it's literally a phone fan it's amazing never been given anything like this before so this year rally park did actually up their game inside here we do have a like uh this is called a dig in like care package so inside we just have pot noodles like a coke energy drink more noodles playing cards and that's something else as well pretty nice that's free got my face mask here got my headphones wallet chewing gum this is another fragrance that i use so this is my daily right now um it's basically a clone of uh aventus creed if it does focus so you can see it's uh from the cave in london and this was only about 20 pounds so it's like a copy but it smells exactly like it and they call it covent garden emperor which to be honest Fair play, instead of spending 200 pounds, I spent 20 quid and it smells exactly how it should. Now, we are moving on to the actual drawers because here obviously you have a MacBook uh, as well, still going strong after five years, amazing. In the first drawer, I keep t-shirts. So these would, when I said uh, going out clothes in the wardrobe, these are t-shirts that I would wear around the flat, but I wouldn't really wear out in here i have um jeans and trousers um convenience for to be honest keeping it here because i can just pull one out and so on and then in the bottom one is my de what i call my dedicated gym drawer so inside here i keep all of my gym clothes whether that be um like t-shirts for gym so this is specifically a gym t-shirt uh shorts or joggers that are specifically for the gym so right now for example i am wearing a nike track suit um as you can see right here this wouldn't be a gym uh track suit so it would usually go into the wardrobe whereas for example somewhere in here i have some joggers but they would be specifically for the gym pretty decent with the storage like i said um although this room is a bit small on space uh, especially compared to my room last year yeah, I just had that little bit of extra clearance you can see the difference that it makes um, that's the space that I'm missing out on basically which is a bit it's a bit peak but minor um, so although the room is a bit like more cozy and so you might struggle to fit things like a laundry bag which takes up a lot of space in terms of the actual storage itself it's pretty good because you've got two under bed storage um, drawers but also a bit more storage behind the uh, drawers so I put my speaker box right, like, underneath bed right at the back uh, obviously you've got these uh, shelves right here to put stuff on you've got the wardrobe if you don't end up filling it out you've got on top of the wardrobe you've got on top of the uh, chest drawers and then obviously inside the chest drawers as well and then right here we do have a radiator you can see there is a schedule for the radiator so 
sometimes I know in uni of catered halls they put the radio on like once a day or something or like in other halls they may only turn it on like once a day but here the heater is on a timer so it says something like 8 a.m to 10 a.m i think it says 3 p.m to 4 p.m it is faded and it says 6 p.m to midnight so you got plenty of time to control the heating and the great thing as well is that you can control the temperature yourself I know in some accommodations you can't control the temperature at all so whatever it comes on at you have to deal with it and it's really not good but right here there is a dial right I'll keep it at about 17 degrees because any more and the room gets a bit too hot especially when it's still like nine degrees outside obviously I'll bump it up when um, it's about zero degrees outside but we're not in that weather yet but yeah guys and girls this basically concludes the video if you did enjoy it then make sure to leave a like comment below and subscribe and turn post notifications on by clicking the bell and clicking all notifications make sure to follow me on my social media that's at Mahel Khan on Instagram snapchat and TikTok at Mahel X on Twitter and official Mahel Khan on Facebook let me know in the comments below what other videos you'd like to see from me now that I'm back at university my lectures are online I'm furious about this I've been venting about the university online on Twitter uh, for the last few days so there will be a video coming to explain all of that don't worry about any other videos you'd like to see from me for example what I spend in a week or day in a life let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to take those into uh, account and I've been Mahel, I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.